what a beautiful spot logs all around while having fun here with nature I am getting reminded of my students request she wants to understand the laws of logarithm well is funny these logs follow no law when you are in such a beautiful setting rules and regulations don't apply but anyway we have to talk about mathematics and learn something about logarithms so let me take some time off from here get back to the classroom setting and see how to work with logarithms we'll begin with the laws of logarithms let's enjoy some more nature and then move on let's go back to classroom now let's look into some laws and properties of logarithms i have summarized what you should know and what you should remember i like you to pause the video make a note of this and using these properties and laws of logarithms we are going to evaluate few logarithms this is my first exercise on logarithms very simple we are not proving the properties in this particular case that is a part of another video link is being provided you can always look into their proof also now let's begin with solving questions here are three questions for you to solve question number one rewrite 3 to the power of 5 equals to 243 in logarithmic form question two rewrite log to the base 4 of 1024 equals to 5 in exponential form and then we have few questions to evaluate each of the following logarithms you need to apply the properties learned so let's begin with the question number one three to the power of five equals to 243 is the exponential form base is three so we have to look that this base should be maintained so when you write in logarithms so write log to the base three so this gives a clue a clue so this is the key to answer these questions keep the base same so log to the base 3 of 243 should be equal to 5 so that is how question 1 could be answered now here we are given log to the base 4 of some number equals to 5 now base is 4 so we could write this as 4 to the power of 5 is equal to 1024 so if you keep the base same then your answer is correct now let us see how to evaluate so we have eight questions here to evaluate let's go to the next page and evaluate them one by one you can actually pause the video here answer all these questions and then look into my suggestions the last one here is a bonus question for you so let's see how to evaluate now log to the base 9 of 3 the idea here is to write this 3 in terms of 9 if you are able to do that then the solution is very easy 3 could be written as square root of 9 right square root of 9 is 3 so from here you get your answer so we get log to the base 9 of 9 to the power of half and now using the rules we know this should be half correct so that is how you could easily evaluate without using calculator now let's look into the next one log to the base square root 2 of 4 we have to write 4 in terms of square root 2 right how could you do that now square root 2 means 2 to the power of half you know 4 could be written as 2 square right so you could do that so what we have here is let me write down here log of square root 2 that's the base now 4 I'm writing as 2 square square root 2 is what square root 2 could be written as 2 to the power of half correct so if I have to write 2 in terms of square root 2 I can write it as square root 2 square correct so 
that means that 2 is equal to square root 2 square. Does it make sense to you? So that is the base here. So what we are going to do here is to replace 2 with square root 2 square. So what we get here is log to the base of square root 2 of square root 2 square and we already have square for it. Correct? So that gives you fourth power of square root 2. So this is log to the base square root 2 of square root 2 to the power of 4 and so we get answer as 4. So that could be tricky at parts but I think the strategy is very simple. All right. Now here C will apply the power rule also. We are given log to the base 9 of 81 to the power of P. Now 81 should be written as 9 squared. So we could write this as log to the base 9 of 9 square and we have the power p here it gets multiplied by 2 so we get 2p now using the rules we know log to the base 9 of 9 is 1 we could actually go one more step writing 2p here log to the base 9 of 9 correct so that gives you the answer as 2p the last one here is straightforward rule 4 to the power of log to the base 4 of 9 is equal to 9 correct so we have used the properties of logarithms to get the answer now here are two more very interesting questions you need to evaluate log to the base 2 of log to the base 9 of 81 and log 1000 to the power of minus 3 you can always pause the video answer these questions and then look into my suggestions now the critical part here is that we have to find log to the base 2 of, think this is in the bracket as an argument, right? Now it becomes simpler. So you could rewrite this as log to the base 2 of, log to the base 9 of, 81 is 9 square, correct? So that is equals to log to the base 2 of, that gives you 2, right? So we have log to the base 2 of 2, which is equal to 1, right? 2 to the power of 1. So same base formula. Now here, on the other side, we have log 1000 to the power of minus 3. When no base is given, that means the base is 10. So remember, default base is 10. So think like this. This is log to the base 10. Is it okay? So it's a good idea to write this 1000 as power of 10. So we get 10 Q. And what we want is to the power of minus 3. So that simplifies. And now we could easily answer this particular question. So what we get here is log to the base 10 of 10 to the power of 3 times 3 is 9. So minus 9. And that gives you minus 9 as your answer. So I hope that is absolutely clear. So let's move forward and take up the next question. Now we could apply the rules of logarithms. We have log to the base 3 of 324 minus log to the base 3 of 4. Now that means same base that is kind of important. We could divide one by the other. So we could write this as log to the base 3 of 324 divided by 4. So that gives us log to the base 3 of 81. 81 is 9 square, right? So 81 is 9 square, which could be written as 3 to the power of 4. And therefore, this is equal to 4. Here, plus in between means we could multiply them. So log to the base 6 of 4 plus log to the base 6 of 9 is same as log to the base 6 of 4 times 9. So just multiply them. So what we get here is log to the base 6 of 36. 36 is 6 squared. So we have log to the base 6 of 6 squared. That gives us answer as 2 using the power rule. Now here is the last question. You need to evaluate. 2 times log to the base 3 of 6 minus half times log to the base 3 of 64 plus log 2 divided by log 3. 
there was an error I kind of corrected it so it is half times log to the base 3 of 64 you can always pause the video answer this question and then look into my suggestion it's a very interesting and important question you will note that the base of first two is 3 but the base of the third term is 10 and therefore directly we cannot apply the laws of logarithms so first we need to change the base correct so we need to change the base we need to write the last term as log to the base 3 right so that gives you a hint and now you can easily solve it so let's rewrite this what we have here let me write down here we have 2 times log to the base 3 of 6 minus half times log to the base 3 of 64 and that could be written as log to the base 3 of 2 log to the base 3 of 2 right so that is how we can change the base from 10 to 3 and rewrite the expression and now it is much simpler you can apply the rules and rewrite so before applying the rules we have to go one more step to make it absolutely clear now when we write 2 log to the base 3 of 6 it should be written as log to the base 3 of 6 square which is 36 correct so we'll go step another step here we'll write this as log to the base 3 of 6 square minus log to the base 3 of 64 to the power of half plus log to the base 3 of 2 now 6 square is 36 so we get log to the base 3 of 36 minus square root of 64 is 8 log to the base 3 of 8 plus log to the base 3 of 2 now applying the laws minus means you could divide plus means you will multiply so we get log to the base 3 of multiply these two the ones with positive that is 36 times 2 so we get 36 times 2 in the numerator and divide by 8 right so that gives you log to the base 3 of 9 right so that goes 4 times 4 times 9 and 9 could be written as 3 square and therefore you get 2 as your answer so the answer for the last one is that is equal to 2 right so i hope these steps are absolutely clear feel free to write your comments and share your views in the next video we'll take up few more questions relating to laws of logarithms and solving equations using those laws i hope you find it interesting and useful thanks for watching and all the best